All right, we're here with Phil. We're just doing some some forehands. Make sure you swivel. You're gonna see yourself now. Make sure you swivel. That was pretty good, except near the end, you tried to help it and you could feel it. So that's your old swing. So that's what you have done in the past. Now, your arm is a whip. It is released by centrifugal force. All right, here we go. Very nice. A little more swivel and we got it. Oh, took your eye off the ball. Bad toss too, a little too close. Not bad, a little too far out in front, an inch, half an inch. See, so what you're, good, what you're starting to realize is how important the point of contact is because those are just this far off, barely. And then it doesn't go where you want it to. So if you have to, put your racket there. Yeah, there it is, very nice. Not bad. You're here, you're here. So well, here's what he means. That shot, you hit right at the tip of your racket and you could hear it was a dud sound and it moved in your hands terribly. All right, now, when you hear a perfect strike, you're gonna hear it in the video it too. Yeah, it pops. It's in the center of the strings and it pops. That was pretty good motion. And it felt pretty good too, didn't it? Well, don't forget, everything flows in the direction you want the ball to go. So the tip of your racket has to go right at your target and it has to be continuous and then you follow through across on the other side. Beautiful, do it again. So it's a tad too far out in front of you. We can go home now. Now, tell me how much effort and energy you put into that shot. See, and I was a little worried about you. I'm not worried. Bouncing it too close to you. Okay, now you're trying too hard. Show me your swivel again. Okay, so do it without the ball now for a sec. Swivel. Do it again. Don't try so hard. There. Release your wrist at the target, good. That's a good stroke. So this is called rhythm and tempo, and that's a golf phrase. Okay, all right, let's try it again. Bad toss. You want that ball to hit that W on your racket? Look at the ball, look at the ball. Okay, little off. See what happens if it, your toss is just a little off? That was only a half an inch off. That was the up. Oh, now stop. Now this is what happens when we try too hard. Now all of a sudden you were, your bird you, is expi expired. I mean you, you were squeezing the grip so hard on that one it shut everything down. No tightness. There it is. All right, David, let's toss him some balls now. Okay, now David, let's make it a little easier because he can toss them. He'll he'll be able to, over here. Always do it from this side or backhands over there. Otherwise, it's harder for them to hit. So he's gonna toss it to you. If it's not a perfect ball toss, don't fall off the board. He's gonna try and get it perfect for you. These have to be perfect, otherwise you can't hit it. Do I understand this, sir? Yep. Okay. Ready, sir? Good. Swivel. Good. Now swivel. You're only going to do this a couple more times, and then we're going to get you off the board. But you got to. The key is we got to feel the centrifugal force, the motion. There you go. Good. Now look at the ball. To quit trying to kill snakes. Swivel. 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 One more. That was pretty good. All right, let's move that board out of the way. Just put it, uh, David will take it for you. 
Okay, so now we start in the zero degree. So straight ahead, good split step. Good. All right, now when the ball comes, you turn to the 45 immediately. Turn your shoulders. Now he's going to toss you a ball. You're going to hit him. Let's don't hit him at the bucket now. Let's hit him uh, at the, the uh, yellow neon target. Cross court. Cross court. All right, here we go. Way too far, David. Closer, closer. Don't move him back. Good. Relax, swivel. Now, you're, the, here's your tightness level. Okay, whoops, now that one was a little tighter. You felt it. Okay, so let it flow. So now all your balls are going to go long. That's a good thing. Now you have to realize if you're projecting it there, it's going to go there. So now you got to project it there. So the tip of your racket doesn't go here anymore. The tip of your racket goes lower when you're hitting it harder. Good. Nice motion. Swivel. Okay. A little tighter. Stay loose. Swivel. Good. Totally loose. Okay, so show me uh, center of strength. Look at the ball. Look at it. Best one. Okay, stop. Feel the grip tighten there. Feel the bicep try and push it, yeah. Now, and we'll put a new grip on there too, a new over grip on there. All right, here we go. Stop, best shot of the day. Least effort, you, you're gonna see it on video, you're gonna hear the pop of your shot. Beautiful, and you know what? Didn't do anything. You Because you used centrifugal force. It's not in the center. Hit it in the center. Good. Don't look. Stay in balance. Good. Turn. Good. Turn. Good. Now stop. That was another good one, except you projected it there. So it hit the back fence. And But I, what did I say? It was a perfect stroke. You hit a dead center of the strings. You watch the ball. But now you have to realize, because you have centrifugal force working for you and you're relaxed, look how much more power you got. So now you got to learn to bring it down. You can't project it six, five, six feet over the net anymore if you're going to hit it harder. Okay? Yeah, my bad. My bad. That's not bad. Look now, stop. That was a looky-looky. So you watch that ball go in the net. Can't move your head. Look at the ball into your strings. Then when it's over the net, then you can look. Good. Good, beautiful stroke. Not bad. Good. Okay, so here's what I'm sensing again. You're squeezing your grip a little bit. Not terribly. I think now you're at about a five tightness at times with your grip. I actually saw some twos and threes in there too. So again, the end of the whip has to be able to whip. If it's petrified because you're squeezing it, you lose all your power and momentum. All right. Wow, that's a great shot. That uh, little muscle, little muscle. Okay, so let's talk about what is considered. Turn your shoulders. 
So get your body in position, turn to the 45. Good, much better. Turn to the 45, now relax, relax, relax. Yes, way to watch the ball. Way to watch the ball. Effortless, effortless. Yes, you did it, beautiful. See, and you're gonna hear the ones that it pops. Well, took your eye off it. You have to watch it 100% of the way into the string. So this is the athleticism of tennis. Watching it 100% of the way in. Good. Now, see, you don't watch the ball too good on your back end. You get right here, Phil. And you're, you're looking to see where it's, you got to stay down on the ball. Your motion's not bad. That's a, a beautiful motion. Miss hit, but not bad. Now stop. Do you feel how tight your grip is right there? All right. Now hit it in the center and release. Whoops, took your eye off the ball. Took your eye off the ball. Good. Way to follow the ball 100% of the way. Took your eye off it. Okay, so what David is showing you when he's saying that now is you got to get in kind of a rhythm, a bounce hit. So he's going, the ball's bouncing, and then he says, now that's when you want to swing and meet it out in front of your body. Effortless, effortless. Good. Turn. Show me that turn. Take it back with your left hand. Good. That was really good. Now hit it in the center strings. Swing free. Okay. It's too deep. Too deep. Too deep. Shorter. There. Now you're right there. Look at the ball. Okay, so stop. Beautiful stroke. Little tightness, little tightness. Turn. Now you're muscling it again. You're not flowing. That was a flow, but look at the ball. That was a flow. Get it at the blue target. Okay, stop. So you feel the difference on the last two. That last one was dead center. The other one, boy, the racket almost flew out of your hands. All right. So, uh, Couple more, David. I want to do a couple more video on this. Beautiful. Good. No tightness. Good. Beautiful. All right. Swivel. Look at the ball. Look at the ball. Better. Don't muscle it. Let it flow. Good. Flow. Turn. Turn, turn, okay, now last couple, I want one forehand, one backhand, so now here's one 
forehand. Now move over to the backhand. Now move over to the forehand. Move your feet. Now move over to the backhand. Now move over to the forehand. Now relax and start watching the ball. Move over. Good. Now move over. Good. Move over. Move over. So this is our challenge drill. Okay, this is hard. Yeah, now move. Forehand. Now backhand. Move your feet. Good. Now forehand. Now backhand. 